All right, so this is how I'm gonna set up my crawdad trap, real quick. Number one bit of choice, hot dog weenies. And that's only because I don't have shad. I'm just gonna use four. Maybe we can use four for lunch later on. Rub it, there we go. Cool, 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 cool. And then also what I'm gonna do. It looks like sausages. You look like sausages. Okay, so this is the top. I am also going to chop a GoPro in here. So we can still get one coming in through here. Because they're going to be, it's a bait for the crawdads, remember? I told you like the little lobsters. Wait, the lobsters like um, sausages? Yeah, they're like weenies, hot dogs. Okay, hold this down for a second. I'm going to need you to hold this for me. Hold it like that. So that one don't work. Okay. Yeah, this is the record. Hey, how you doing, dude? How are you? <laughs> good, 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 good. I watch your videos all the time. Really? Yeah. Dude, that's awesome. Thank you for watching. I'm Rod. Rod, Mondo. Mondo, yeah. Yeah, nice to meet you guys. Well, I'm taking the boy out for the first time on the boat. Really? This here's, is my first time ever trying to crowd it. Here's here. the key. Fresh fish. Fresh fish, right? Yep. That's the, you know what we're going to do? We're going to catch a fish first, bring it up, put mm -hmm. it in. <laughs> Hot dogs work, but fresh fish, you'll fill a trap. Yeah. A couple yeah. weeks ago, buddy Troy and I, we put some shad in, in the yeah. creek. Yeah. Filled it like in a couple hours. That's what I use the shad. Shad? Because the shad run, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wonder why you were strapping that. Well, this guy's really worried about strapping his bait in there. I no, think. no, oh, I just got the camera. That's I'm trying cool. to get the camera. I'll yeah. Watch for that video. Yeah. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's recording now, so we got to go out there and drop it before they lose that too much battery. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Hey, well, good luck, you guys. Thanks, dude. Thank you. Aaron, putting on this. So we got this. And we got a GoPro in there recording. Let's go. Yep, let me go drop this in the boat and we'll put the rods in. I'll park the trailer and we can get out of here, okay? Man, I wish I could see how deep it is right here. I'm gonna go drop it closer to the shore. Just so that it's not. Oh, like how long are we gonna fish for? Mm, I don't know, that's a good question. Okay, I think that's that's it. Okay, so Cardi Trap is down, guys.
All right, guys, so now that we're home, we brought our crawdads home with us. I'm going to show you guys how I like to cook them up. First, run some water on them. Let me show you. So in here we have our crawdations. Put them on the floor and then get the, get the trap out. Two trout and uh, four crawdads. So I'm going to... Plug the sink and run some cold water. As you can see, we got our four crawdads still alive in the water. So, while they're in there in the clean water, we're gonna boil some water on the stove. It's kind of a lot. All right, got it on the stove. And we're going to turn that on to like a number six and a half, seven, so that it boils, boils faster. All right, so while those are in there and that's starting to boil, I'm going to go ahead and clean this trout real quick. So once your water starts getting hot, I like to add this little secret ingredient to the concoction. Check it out. Right here. Slap your mama Cajun seasoning. Oh yeah. You know, just enough to give some flavor to the to the water. Should be good. Alright. Now we wait for it to boil and we're gonna toss these bad boys in. A very important part of the process while waiting for your water to boil, if you don't, this is crucial, crucial, crucial to the, you know, to the recipe. While you're waiting for your water and your slap your mama Cajun seasoning to boil up, very, very important. Hang on a second. Grab the coldest beer in your fridge and make this noise with it. What you do beyond that point is up to you guys, but I like to, you know, toss it back. We're getting close. We're getting close. Okay, so our water seems to be boiling. So, it's transport time. If you're a manly man, you can just grab them with your hands, you know, and not scared of anything, but if you're a cautious man still manly just cautious you can use a pair of these right here little rubber grippers and these are uh, it's a, the cool thing about these is the, I bought them for the special reason that they are anti pinch proof so that's come with yeah so you're just gonna grab one I'll grab this one first because it has the no claw you know one it is one claw and we're just gonna transfer them over and drop them in the juice just like that and don't worry, they die right away. They don't suffer anything. As soon as they hit the hot water, they're done, so. Oh, you're trying to get away. Number two. And the juice. Three. And four. Like He's like watching. Oh, what the so once you got them in, you only want to cook them for maybe, you know, six or seven minutes. Not too long. You don't want to overcook them. Okay, so that should be about good right there, guys. Go ahead, turn off. Turn off the water. Grab a quick plate. 
I'm gonna do paper plate because dishes suck. Just grab them out. One. Four. All right. Let them, let them cool down for a minute. Oh, yeah. Do it again. Woo! <laughs> They're dead, Papa. Okay. Look, 100% dead. And 200% delicious. 200% not delicious. You want to try one? No. All right, so they've cooled down a little bit. Should we wait till Lupus off the phone? Yeah. So they finally cooled off enough. That we can handle them, so let's give them a let's give them a little try. I'm gonna sit the hell down. Hang on, I'm gonna bring my beer real quick. But I saw on another video that you push in the tail, kind of turn it like this. Whoa! Oh. Turn it and peel it back, kind of like that. People drink that, but I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> and we peel off the rest of the tail. Aaron, excuse, dude, Aaron, can I help you? What, help me what? Can I help you with something? You're all up in my business. All right, check it out. Aaron, look at this. Little piece of meat right here. Cry that tail. You want to try a little piece? No, fine. No, fine? Yeah, a little bit? Just try it. Okay. Here, here's your little piece right. and here's, here's my big piece. It's a face expression. Let's try it at the same time. Salud. Salud. Ready one? Salud. You know what salud means? We gotta touch them. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, I'm trying mine. Mmm. I like mine. I'm getting another one. Mine's super good. Can I push and squeeze? Good still. <laughs> what did you think, Aaron? It's okay if you didn't like it. I'm just gonna kick your butt. Just kidding. Did you like it? What? Kind of good. Just kidding. It's really good, or what? Or you did? Or you didn't like it? I. He needs another one, maybe. If he didn't, there's another one. Tastes like, they like shrimp, but you don't like shrimp. Nani, do you, do you want to try one? Yeah. Te lo pelo or you want it? No, no yeah. don't try that. <laughs> See, pelo me la way. <laughs> you, know, you can eat that stuff, but I know you're not going to eat it if it looks weird. So Is, let me hand it to you. Like My sister in law, what do you think? Very fishy. Very fishy. <laughs> it tastes good. All right, guys, I'm gonna save the that? I'm gonna save the last one for can for I later from myself. Ah! Careful. And this was a super simple way. There's other ways, obviously, you can do. You can add more stuff. <laughs> Some people do it with just water, but I don't know. I just this is actually honestly my first time doing it with that slap your mama stuff. I thought it was the old bay. No, I'm next time I'm gonna do old bay. Oh. But I have some too. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this kind of video, let me know down in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't. And say what's up to Nani if you haven't as well. <laughs> I look horrible. Oh, my God. All right. Peace out, guys.